Hey guys, what's up? It's Brittany here from Lady Strong Fitness with your Trainer Tip Tuesday. And on today's Trainer Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be talking all about heart rate monitors and why they're so important for you guys to have during your workouts and in your classes here at Lady Strong. So as you can see behind me, we do have a heart rate monitor system here at Lady Strong that our members utilize with their heart rate monitors in class. And I wanna talk about the top two reasons of why heart rate monitors are so important for you and for your coaches. Number one, for your coaches, it really allows your coach an opportunity to push you or pull you back in your workouts. If we don't really know how hard your heart is working, you may look like you're really tired, but your heart rate monitor may say another thing, which allows us and your coaches to push you outside of your comfort zone and get you to take that next step or work just a little bit harder or go that extra rep. Because that heart rate monitor tells us, okay, they're only at 70% of their maximum heart rate, we can definitely push them to 75, 80%. So we are gonna push, push that person just a little bit harder. Now on the flip side of that, if we notice that for some reason, we just can't bring you down from that red zone 90% plus of your heart rate we might tell you hey have a seat grab a sip of water let's bring your heart rate down a little bit let's keep you safe and then let's get back at it so that also allows us to keep you safe during your workouts as well so heart rate monitors are such a good opportunity to allow your coaches to really see what's going on inside of your body because your face may say one thing but inside may say another now for the member the importance of having a heart rate monitor is you actually get to see how much work you're putting out you also get to track how many calories you're burning. If you're tracking your food and nutrition and all those things, you can understand what a calorie deficit would look like for you. Especially if you've done an in-body scan here, it's also really important because having an in-body scan will tell you what your basal metabolic rate is, which is how many calories you're burning just living every single day, plus the calories you're burning in class, maybe it's 2,000, and if you need a 500 calorie deficit, you would say, okay, I need to have eat 1,500 calories, I'm burning 2,000, that gives me my 500 calorie deficit that I need. So it really helps you understand as a member what your calorie deficit needs to be day in and day out to actually see results and lose weight. But it's also, if you're competitive, it's nice to see where you're at next to people in class as well, and it also allows you to really see you know, how many intensity points you're getting, how many calories you're burning, you really track your workouts, you can see how well you recover, how fast can you bring your heart rate down, lets you know how strong your heart is. There's a lot of really awesome benefits to wearing your heart rate monitor. So here at Lady Strong, um, we, and actually just before I go into the types of heart rate monitors, I wanna show you guys the zones on the back of the box. So there are five heart rate zones that we work in here at Lady Strong. We have zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, zone five. Zone one is zero to 59% of your maximum heart rate. Zone two is 60 to 69. Yellow is 70 to 79. 80 to 89, 90 plus. You wanna spend the majority of your workouts in that yellow and orange zone, okay? So you wanna spend it between 70 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. That's where you're gonna have the most effectiveness. Some people do spend a lot of their workout on the red. We wanna be careful of that because we have actually helped people, some people find out that they have heart conditions because if they're in the red, the whole workout, we're like, holy crap, you need to go to the doctor. They go to the doctor, all of a sudden they find out they have something going on with their heart. So this really helps us understand what's going on on the inside. It also helps you too. So again, you wanna spend the majority of your workout in these two zones, some of it in the red zone as well. In your rest times or after your workouts, when your coach says bring your heart rate down, we wanna get down into that green zone, zone two, sometimes even the blue zone as well, depending on how well your recovery is. So those are the zones on the back of the box. And we also have them posted, you can see on the wall behind me here, so you can understand what the zones are as well. So we have two different, two different kinds of heart rate monitors. We have a chest strap monitor, which goes all the way around your chest. It's um, on your skin like a bra strap right in the center there, right close to your heart. We also have the arm band that could go on your forearm or your bicep. I have worn both and I actually really like both, but it depends. Some people don't like all that stuff around their chest, so they would prefer to have the armband monitor. Some people don't like the armband monitor because if it slips or whatever, if you get really sweaty, they prefer the chest strap. It is really a personal preference and they both work equally the same and they're both great options. One just is the armband, the other one is the chest strap. So. Guys, if you don't have a heart rate monitor, highly, highly, highly recommend stopping at the front desk. If you're at another gym, wherever you're watching this from, get yourself a heart rate monitor. Um, a lot of you guys, a lot of people I see wear Apple Watches and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of Apple Watches tracking activity during workouts because you're moving around so much, they're slipping and sliding, they're not staying in one place. These actually stay in one place around your chest, by your heart, on your arm, on your pulse, and they're not moving around. So the accuracy level is much, much higher than on an Apple Watch or a Fitbit or a Samsung watch or whatever the case may be. So get yourself a heart rate monitor guys and we'll see you guys in the next Trader Tip Tuesday. Bye!